Workhorse, it sounds like this beautiful animals that we used for centuries that actually are so beautiful, run through the desert or the wild, in the wild living Mustang horses that are so strong but so beautiful and always a part of mankind. Actually, it's just another EV stock and if it makes sense to buy them, uh, let's find out together. <laughs> Going directly on the website, like a real customer. I'm going on the website and uh, checking out this company, what they are actually doing, how the product looks like, how the, you know, inception of a mind of a client would work when they are going on this website. So as you can see, so they have something to do with this delivery vehicles. And uh, if you're just reading here the second sentences, it's clear that they are actually in a niche. And this is nice about Workhorse or other companies that they are starting in a niche and building up from there. So this is something that I definitely see as positive. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's have a look into those cars okay so they look pretty much like those very old ups cars right i don't find them attractive or some kind of futuristic to be honest because uh, i i have seen here another picture as well they they look like very clumby and uh, anyway okay it's 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 fine i mean everyone has another taste right and i don't have to uh, drive those so so it doesn't matter for me and my taste in cars but here are three main features apparently so first of all they are 100 percent electric okay so the future uh, utility cars are very much electric obviously because it's uh, so much more effective less maintenance and with uh, more and more time they will have bigger range and they will have uh, your there they are faster stronger and so on then they have a low floor uh, if this makes uh, more sense uh, this need to be answered by some ups or fedex drivers and then they have this monitoring uh, same uh, so own own in-house monitoring system that they can you know plan and with ai help you to plan your routes better so as you can see this is what the uh, workhorse is uh, doing and then they are experimenting uh, with drones this is what i have seen here as well with uh, horse fly okay i never see a horse fly but apparently this is uh, the product that they are uh, showing here well you have to understand that this product is very very early okay i i worked uh, in drones before in this industry and delivery drones are still need a lot of uh, development here and regulations as well the technology itself is quite ready um you know drones are flying for for many many years already but to make it really safe and uh, efficient uh, this will take a little bit more time but it's great that they are really concentrating on this kind of things and then what else do we have here and then we have the app uh, that uh, you know shows uh, the better the, the the management of those companies that are ordering this kind of cars uh, what the cars are doing and where they are and so on and so forth so this obviously helping them now if we're going into the investor page of uh, workhorse then there is presentation investor deck 2020 and this is quite interesting as well so this is something that you as investor or potential investor should have seen already and go through it word by word if you are interested so obviously they have this uh, kind of uh, electric vehicles what i really really don't like is this design i mean it looks like it looks like a, a duck queen duck car or a donald duck car just you know very in a very bad design but again you know this is just myself and uh, the funny thing about this company or the great thing about this company is they are really you know trying to nail this kind of industry okay with electrification of those cars and uh, they have already big blue chips uh, clients like ups or dhl uh, here's a kind of timeline that you can look into it and so on but the thing is guys it's another spec company okay so this means that uh, they just came to the market by a merger and uh, if this is something that we should consider this we will discuss into the next category 
Okay, before we diving into the insane, insane stock gain of workhorse, I would like to animate you to click the join button below all the videos. If you don't see it, then change the browser to Google uh, Chrome or to Firefox, whatever will work for you. But if you click on this banner, you will get all the information about our community here. So you can join and support the channel by becoming a Wolfpack Gold member. You can get a real wolf and get really access to our Discord chat where we chatting, you know, with all our members 24 hours about stocks and uh, developments that are breaking news out there. So if you want to be a successful investor, maybe it's time to join. And the last Ultimate Wolf experience is even the most incredible because then I become a mentor with you together. We can talk about uh, stocks and uh, economy and developments and everything what you would like to do on regular basis via email. Uh, you will chat with me. So it's the closest thing that you can get here to a YouTuber and a professional investor here on YouTube in the whole investment economy. Okay, so maybe it's something for you. I would be looking forward to see you there. Now let's dive into the chart of workhorse because this is absolutely insane. It's another spec merger. Okay, so another a company special uh, purpose acquisition company just launched and merged with workhorse another EV player okay so if you're looking into the chart then you see that the chart uh, the stock was uh, listed for about 3.5 uh, dollars per share and then exploded to you know even 21 dollars uh, or 20 dollars at most so an insane 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 gain uh, from the pre-merger status now with the market cap of 1.72 billion dollars you are actually betting that this company will be a major player right i mean the company doesn't make any barely make any revenue right uh, 0 0.01 million dollars is not something that we should consider making revenue so you are betting that those products get really into the hands of ups amazon other e-commerce giants like maybe ebay right um, we don't know the plans of the big e-commerce giants but as you can see for example amazon one of the biggest clients I don't think they will order workers because they are ordering Rivian trucks already and now they just announced that they order 1,800 Mercedes-Benz trucks. So as you can see, the competition is very high. However, it's not that the success of this company can further go. I mean, if they start to make some revenue for UPS and FedEx, then I can easily see that the stock goes up to a market cap of $10 billion. So we have seen crazy things. Is this company a little bit inflated because of the latest EV boom? Yes, of course it is. Okay, there's no question about it. But I think that they are doing something right in investing into the niche of delivery trucks. And if they are successful, then also the stock can be quite skyrocket from here. A 10x, you know, a, a market cap of $17 billion is something that, you know, companies can easily reach, especially in this early stage so something that you should definitely put on your watch list if you are in this ev hype you know you know my opinion but this opinion we will discuss for today in the conclusion of this video okay conclusion of this video do i invest in a workhorse no okay but though i like the approach right so they are having a great niche that they can attack they seem to have a clear vision how the product should look like what the delivery of the last mile should look like electrified and digitalized uh, they have the monitoring system but it's nothing that you know totally put me out of order when I see their product launch okay so it's something that is nice to have but uh, maybe if I would have you know a spare one million dollars then maybe I would invest 200k into workers just for fun and be into the EV game I like to invest into the very best and this is for me Tesla obviously you know Tesla has one of the smartest managements that I have ever seen in a company and therefore if they would think that the delivery truck or last mile delivery truck business would be very very profitable and very very 
important for them to produce, they would have already those delivery trucks before the semi trucks, okay? But it seems they look more into the semi trucks because this is the better piece of the pie. And as you can see that Nikola is copying Tesla and Helion is also copying, you know, being in the semi truck business is apparently more attractive than the delivery truck. But however, I like the approach and it's a stock for me that I would say it's a nice to have. And for sure there is growth potential, you know, two, three, uh, five times the value. But I can also see with, you know, a, a, a more inflation and a crash or a or correction of a Tesla stock. Also, the stock of a workhorse will definitely, you know, be lower as they are now. So. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I love to talk about those stocks that we usually don't talk about this. Let me know which stocks should I, you know, look into next and uh, I see you tomorrow. <music>